In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On Saturday, May 1, 2021, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines will consecrate our country under the patronage of St. Joseph. Archbishop Romulo Valles, CBCP President, will lead the consecration at 9.45 a.m. at the San Pedro Cathedral in Davao City after the Holy Rosary. This will be followed by the Mass of the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker to be led by Archbishop Jose Palma at the National Shrine of St. Joseph in Mandawe, Cebu City. Each day starting April 22 until April 30, we invite you to reflect on a selected quality of St. Joseph and pray for your intentions and our country. April 30 Reflection Saint Joseph, Protector of the Holy Church A blessed Easter and good day to all of you. Allow me for a few minutes to just give a short sharing on the theme, Saint Joseph, Protector of Holy Church. You know, in the book of Father Donald Calloway entitled, Consecration to Saint Joseph, he made the discussion that the church was not spared from many scandals or internal turmoil. As we all know, even for the past centuries, this has been the experience of the Catholic Church. But the re recent decades, especially um, what we have heard, what we know about, Clergy sexual abuse has really rocked the church. It has caught us a bank, and you know we we just are the, we we just are uh, not only shocked, but our faith has been shaken. Realizing that even clergy who are supposed to be looked up to as holy as credible, as integrable, fall short of their identity as priests. But anyway, this is just one aspect. But come to think of it, when we look at St. Joseph as our protector, we can just marvel at God who gives us a powerful intercessor. Someone who in his own silent witness and prayerful intercession makes the church feel that amidst all these trials and tribulations, we can remain stable and we can be assured of God's faithful presence. You know, a few months ago, when there was this declaration of our own national consecration, Bishop Midfield Billiones, Bishop Dodong, uh, shared an image of St. Joseph, which I want to bring to your attention and see how we can understand this holy saint protecting us. He uses this image and helps us understand that given the particulars of the image, the message of God's protection through St. Joseph is very real. There are many images about St. Joseph. This is just one. We were able to get this in the internet. This may not be the image Bishop Dodong wanted to show us, but the particulars about the symbols may help us understand how St. Joseph strengthens us in faith. The images are first the lily, and then second the toolbox, and the third 
Joseph carrying or holding the child Jesus or the boy Jesus. Bishop Dodong shared like the first image, the lily. It's a flower. It is a message of hope. If you recall in the book of Genesis, when there was this great deluge during the time of Noah, the sign that the flood already subsided was when the dove came back to Noah and on the beak of that dove was an olive flower. And that was the hope that the new day has dawned. Brothers and sisters, when we look at the lily, like any flower that blossoms, there is always hope given the struggles, the test of faith we have in the church. Because hope is no one else but God. Jesus is the foundation of our hope. And look, for the past centuries, since the time of Jesus, given all the twists and turns, the rough edges, the many tidal waves or tsunamis that has hit the church, we are still here. The second is related to hope, and it's about this image of the toolbox. We look up to Joseph also as a worker. Remember, Jesus was always introduced as the son of a carpenter. And Joseph as a carpenter, like any laborer, tells us of the message of resiliency. And that's how working people are, isn't it? Perhaps you have experienced this in your life. Whatever work you are at, whatever job or career. Work is not easy when we're asked to do a job. But we do a task, we fulfill our goal through patience and perseverance. That tells us how we are resilient. Brothers and sisters, I think our intercessor, St. Joseph, who has been resilient as a worker, sees us through. We servants of the church, whether ordained or non-ordained. Yes, we will be beset by trials, negative experiences. But we know we have survived. We have surpassed these experiences because like St. Joseph the worker, we have been resilient in working for the church and in doing God's work. Finally, this particular image of Joseph holding the hand of Jesus or carrying the child Jesus. It gives the message of guidance and accompaniment. We are not, not just accompanied by the triune God. We have been accompanied by Joseph and Mary and the many saints who are now in heaven and even living saints so that whatever happens to us in our lives, we have someone to turn to, we have people who will listen to us. And I think it is always the assurance that we will never be alone. I think that's how Joseph is a protector of the church. With him, we are not alone. He is there to protect us 
given the presence of sin, sin and evil in the world. So there you have it, brothers and sisters. We have St. Joseph as protector of Holy Church. Just to end, I'd like you to look back at all the symbols and see our situation during this time of the pandemic. Isn't it striking? We have Joseph, who is our protector too, at this time when variants become super spreaders and infect thousands, millions of people. Joseph telling us there is hope, all will be well. Joseph telling us. Just hold on. Be patient and be persevering. Resiliency will carry you through. Joseph is telling us, you will never be alone. I'm here to guide you and accompany you. For amidst this darkness, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. And I will hold your hand and make you realize that there will be bliss, joy and happiness coming from God who loves all of us. God, our loving Father, we praise you for the gift of Saint Joseph, whom we consider as the protector of the Church. Thank you for the opportunity to honor him on this ninth day of prayer and reflection as we prepare our hearts for the consecration of the country under the patronage of St. Joseph tomorrow, May 1, Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, which is an important day for the Catholic Church in our beloved country. Thank you for the Catholic Bishops of the Philippines for taking this initiative in this year of St. Joseph. As a sign of our thanksgiving, we pray for the grace to promote the devotion to St. Joseph for his virtues which are truly worth emulating. We seek his powerful intercession to protect the Catholic Church, which has been rocked and shocked by scandals. On our part, we need to be graced to defend and protect the Church from evil forces around, which aim to defame and destroy it. We pray that we as Church would remain stable and that our faith be steadfast. Today, more than ever, we need our Catholic Church leaders to guide us as we face daunting challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for the grace to work together as one holy Catholic and apostolic Church to bring hope to the desperate to show patience and resilience, and to give reassurance of God's faithful presence in these difficult times. We pray also for the grace to be generous and caring, following the example of Saint Joseph, who protected our Lord Jesus and the Blessed Virgin Mary as they fled to Egypt. Amid widespread misery and hopelessness, we pray that we will learn to increase our trust in the Divine Mercy and the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother and our spiritual Father, Saint Joseph. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Year of Saint Joseph Prayer to you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by His blood 
and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Now, let us pray for our country. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God bless you all. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.